There'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover. Hello there, YouTube. Sardonic Skeptic here. Cheers. Now, as I'm sure my subscribers know, there are two wars that I am very passionate about. The war on censorship and the war on terror. It's a harsh struggle and I run into a lot of people every day that think I'm wrong to fight this fight. I take a lot of abuse for my opinions. But one thing does keep me going, one thing does keep my spirits up. It's poetic justice. Rest assured, people, I came across something just as funny in the war on censorship. Why don't we have a look at Chris the Atheist 1's latest video? <gasps> Chris the Atheist? You got DMCA'd? Someone tried to fuck with your freedom of speech? Well, that's horrible. I know you'd never do anything like that. I'm going to appeal to YouTube. And I'm going to ask all my friends. And if you're, if you're my friend and you're watching this, any of you people, the more influential people, the better. Please, I'm begging you. Please favorite this video. And please report Gear Up, a.k.a. Venom Fang X, to YouTube as the dangerous idiot that he is. <gasps> Why, Chris! Would that be a false flagging campaign you were asking for? Oh, gee, I mean... You called for a false flagging campaign and now you got DMCA'd? <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Hmm. Before he throws a shit fit, here is the context. Apparently, Gear Up made some dumbass video about how people should have uh, carry ectopic pregnancies to term, and Chris the Atheist One had such utter contempt for the YouTube viewership that he figured that people will see this video and they'll go out and can carry their carry their ectopic pregnancies to term. And by the way, there's just no way you can save the baby. It's it's when the thing gets into the fallopian tube and gets stuck there. It's completely fucked up. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, he figured he's going to save lives by censoring Gear Up. Save the lives of people stupid enough to carry an ectopic pregnancy to death because Gear Up says so. But allow me to undo all the potential benefit your false flagging campaign could have done. Subscribers, I command you right now to go under the sink and drink whatever you find. Report back to me with the results pronto. If you are dumb enough to do that, you deserve to die. Oh, God, I, I just don't get this utter contempt for humanity, this ridiculous conceit. Anyway, Gear Up responded to him, which I think was more than he deserved, and uh, <laughs> an intrepid young YouTuber who was, in my opinion, the sexiest creature to have ever walked the earth, made a video response to both of them. Uh, I can't remember his name. I think it was... Exactly five nine here. Cheers. If you're interested in this shit, link in the description. I'm fairly certain I'm the only one that retains any kind of video of the events that transpired. I could be wrong. Chris the Atheist 1 deleted his video. Gear Up probably did. I couldn't find it. So, interested, link in the description. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Huh, that's a little fucked. Uh, it's one thing to say you're pretty sure this guy is responsible. 
It's another thing to say he's responsible whether he did it or not. That's fucked up. Speaking of fucked up thoughts, uh, can I actually see those DMCA papers? Can we see them? I, I would really like to know that this actually happened and you didn't just delete your videos and say, I've been DMCA'd as some sort of a wacky stunt. I'd really like to know. I mean, it's not hard to do. I know you claim to be so inept, like, oh, I just don't know how to put those things into a video. Um, control print screen, put it into a paint document, delete your, delete your address, delete your last name, this sort of shit, and, and let us see. Uh... You don't know how to download videos. You don't have the software to do that. It's called KeepVid.com. How long have you been doing this? Uh, Chris, you're not helping your case that you're not a sub whore. I mean, yeah, you tend to get more subscribers after something like this happens, but to say this shit explicitly, it's just fucking sleazy. When your reaction to this is, oh boy, I'm gonna get hundreds and hundreds of subscribers, like, wow, that's like the kid when his grandparents comes to visit, the first thing out of his mouth is, what'd you get me, what'd you get me? Like, that's... Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Now, you didn't post a link to this video. You just typed out the link, knowing full well that most people would never actually follow it. But guess what? It's a short fucking video, and we're going to play it right now. Okay. First of all, you never thought you'd hear this, but I'm sorry, Anarchy Begins from Newcastle. I'm sorry, Mr. Soprano from Blackpool. Okay, but what you have to understand here is, and it's going to take a big, um, big, uh, big amount of courage for me to swallow my breath and say this, but there is no play out in ministry. The whole thing is rubbish. The whole the whole player and ministry meeting and all that, you know, the dance, it was, I pinched it from some YouTube video of the San Francisco disco band, he, Sister Sledge, she's the greatest dancer, just Google the San Francisco disco band, it's their video, The Greatest Dancer, it's a pub in Melbourne, uh, basically, me and Soprano, me and Anarchy Begins about January time, we had a fallout about Nebru, and that we started the exchanges backwards and forwards and I got really, really pissed off and all that. At the end, about two months ago, he decided to take one thing further to really, really piss him off and he went on and on and on. And all this crap the last month has just been, you know what it is. And now I've decided, you know, just forget it, drop it all now before it goes too much. Uh, like, yes, I'm religious, yes, my family were religious, yes, I have paranormal beliefs, but come on, I don't think I'm God, I don't freaking think I'm Jesus or an extraterrestrial or anything like that, and I hope you, um, at least appreciate the courage it's taken for me to make this video, because this is totally out of character, but I just want to say all the best, and, um, what you do with this video, whether you make a parody of it or not, will go a long way as to saying what you're really like but as far as I'm concerned the whole play and ministry crap is over thank you now stop me if I'm wrong here but I didn't even hear your name mentioned in that video much less a fucking death threat so I, I hope you have something better with you when you go to the police station with that otherwise you're at serious risk of having a baton shoved up your ass which is well deserved uh, don't use the cops as your own personal hit squad against people you just don't fucking like. Anyway, uh, I want to make it clear here, people. I do not condone him being DMCA'd or false flagged, uh, if that happens in the future. Uh, in fact, even though there is significant doubt in my mind whether he was DMCA'd, 
I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I am going to mirror his stupid bullshit video on my Derek359 channel. And I encourage you all to do likewise. I would also encourage you to mirror this video and post it as a response to any of his mirrors you happen to see on YouTube. Sardonic Skeptic, cheers. Oh, I am perfectly aware that this might get you more subscribers, but uh, it won't be me because you blocked me a long time ago for pointing this shit out to you. <laughs>